What are these mini tents found at a World War II museum? I think it measures about eight inches along the bottom and stands about seven inches tall. They had no description and there was no staff around in the museum, so me and my dad are very interested in what their purpose is. Any ideas? They are World War II D-Day British mine markers. On D-Day, a plan to move the advancing Allied troops through the minefields as quickly as possible came about with the aid of the mine markers. A team of Royal Engineer sappers equipped with mine detectors went ahead, placing these markers wherever there was a potential signal. Once the troops were safely through the minefield, the markers were removed after the signal had been properly investigated and potential hazards removed. What is this one pound, 3.5 ounces, eight by six inch heavy black plastic thing with a metal channel screwed to it? Underneath the labels for uppercase letters, USA currency symbols and the 10 digits are boxes with the largest at the bottom. It was donated to us and we don't know by whom. It seems like it would be part of something else that the tray is hung on or a part of. Any ideas? It's the drawer tray for an old price sticker making machine from circa 1915. Very similar to this one, but obviously a different make or model. This was a highly engineered piece of early technology that was used at the point of sale in all the early American department stores. I found this box at a local antique mall near St. Louis, Missouri for $5. It is 6.5 inches wide at the top and 5.5 inches tall. I did some research and couldn't find anything about it. I'm intrigued by the ironwork and the texture, and it seems like something was pasted on the sides at one point. Then there is the seal on the bottom. I'm totally lost and have never seen anything like it. Any suggestions would be appreciated. Thank you in advance. It's a primitive Asian rice bucket from 1850 to 1899, and perhaps Chinese. Many items, including antiques, were shipped out of China with the wax seal actually applied to the antique itself. They even did this to the bottom of porcelain plates, the bottom of vases and figurines. The stamps read customs permissible, meaning the item was approved to be shipped and then it was wrapped and exported. So the bucket is very old and the wax stamp was applied at a much later date the year it was shipped, perhaps to an American Asian antique dealer or collector. What is this stretchy metal bracelet with a sharp hanging blade? It was donated to our creative reuse center and none of us have a clue. The bit at the end is sharp and moves on the pin and the hanging rod is stamped US patent applied for. Any idea what this was used for? It's a wristlet crochet ball holder and I think it's from around the 1910s to the 1930s. It simply held the yarn or thread while crocheting. Simply insert the bit into a ball of wool and slip the bracelet over your wrist. What is this cast iron thing in the marsh on my property? The top is threaded, it has a keyway, and presumably that's a gear. I have no idea how deep it's drilled, but definitely can't budge it by hand. I've tried some Googling, but my description is too vague to come up with anything relevant. Any ideas? It's the worm and drive shaft out of a 28 or 29 model AA Ford rear end. It could also be out of a model TT as they had a nearly identical rear end. If I'm not mistaken, that's the low speed rear axle ratio as well. The drive shaft and worm are likely six to seven feet long. It's neat, but absolutely junk to any restorer. So if you get it out, it's a garage hanger. I got one myself as a wall art piece due to the worm teeth being too galled up and bearing race has pitting. What is this metal triangle shaped hand tool with an offset wooden handle similar to a trowel? I found it in the kitchen section of a thrift store but could have been misplaced. It has five shallow circle indents on the surface, no brand markings, and the corners of the metal triangle shape are rounded. Does anyone know what this is for? It's a Masonic ceremonial trowel serving tray from the 1960s. In Freemasonry, the trowel is employed as a symbol to convey moral and philosophical lessons. It is often depicted as a symbol of unity and spreading brotherly love among Freemasons. What is this woven object hanging on the wall of my local pub? 
I vaguely remember one hanging in my grandparents' old house as well. It's made out of some kind of weaved bamboo or some similar kind of natural plant. I have no idea what its purpose is supposed to be. What is it for? It's a carpet beater, also known as a rug beater. It was a house cleaning tool used to beat carpets in order to shake dust and dirt out of them. Its use in cleaning has been largely replaced since the 1950s by the carpet sweeper and then the vacuum cleaner, although they are still sold in many household stores throughout Europe. I bought this spearhead a while back from an antique shop in East Yorkshire, England. The cabinet was apparently all stuff found by a metal detectorist. Can anyone provide more information about this spearhead? Thanks in advance. That is a Bronze Age spearhead. Most bronze spearheads with a tang that I'm familiar with seem to come mostly from the Luristan culture in modern Iran, or a bit west of there in Anatolia near the Euphrates, and west near modern Antep. They were making them look like that since the Copper Age and well into the Bronze Age. They did not change the design much over time right around there. What is this light fixture I noticed at a restaurant in St. John's, Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada? I asked the employees and they didn't have an answer. It appears to be some sort of old machinery. It is about 2.5 meters high and has a large gear attached to what I assume is a differential of some kind and made from slightly rusted steel or maybe iron. Any ideas? It's the lift mechanism from a dumbwaiter. I have an almost identical set from an old bakery. It was used to raise and lower barrels of flour from the storeroom in the basement. Here's a pic of a dumbwaiter mechanism of similar construction. Mine's been in pieces for 15 years, but yours is exactly as I remember its assembly. I think the large pulleys are for the ropes you pull on, and the center pulley did the lifting. I calculated around a 12 to 1 mechanical advantage. What is this World War II era box kite in a yellow metal tub? It was given to me as a kid by my granddad, and apparently this was used in one of the forces in the UK during World War II, I'm not sure which. The instructions on the casing have someone sitting in what looks like a dinghy using it. There's a welded ring pull on the inside of the lid that looks like it's for looping onto the kite. What would it be used for? And what services would it be used in? Please tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.